social media kept this very quiet so I recommend you go and watch this video first um, or after this video so it's Dan, from Dan the Mixtape and um, he does great videos exposing what's happened in this country and uh, he talked about the Buddha baby home which is how I found out about this I listened to him what he had the um, about this because again I never really heard much about it um, and he explained it in greater detail than Bobby I would be able to explain it so please you know go off and watch him and you just want to give him a shout out to his channel and um, he does great he, he, again he exposes a lot a lot of stuff he, he talks about a lot of stuff um, better than RT let's put it that way better far better than RT so instead of watching RT news you know watch it <laughs> watch because that's the real news um, and obviously you'll watch this video definitely underneath I will leave a link in the description but yeah so basically what about the top before so you know the mother and baby home is back years ago um, it's a sin and a lot of people want to forget about it um, and we can't forget about it because if we forget about it, it will happen again um, children being abused like I don't, I don't have to even go into much more details about that but the mother and baby homes um, babies being slaughtered babies you know again babies being buried buried babies being sold like I could I could go on I honestly could go on but I'm, them sick nuns what they did to them babies um, send them off to you know again like they were just snap well with their head and if they think they were doing God's work my God then they have some weird mind anyway um because again, these people, these nuns, like they were not but bad bitches, and the simple that, just putting it straight, um, and these you know, and again, back years ago, the church and state were one, and the simple that the the church was more higher than the state, the church has more say than the state, um, and you know, with the government now, guess what they want to do? Guess what they want? The great government, it's a great country, you know, it's a great country. They want to pass something that they want to pass the records, so there is records of the children, obviously, there would be records in the state archives. Um, and which is true, there's records, they have records of who's buried probably where and who died in this state and where who sold off to other countries. Um, you know, again, um, and do you want to, what to do, watch a good government, the children's minister, there's a great country we have in this country, we have good people here um, who just want to hide the truth and who want to just hide the past. Um, and that would do no good, hiding the past would do no good for them. Um, because in the end, it would always come out, it would always come out, no, ha no matter how long they try and hide what happened to the mother baby son, we know what happened, but there's a lot more than not telling us, and that's that's just a basic story, there's a lot more than not telling us. Um, and there's still mothers to this day, you know, looking for children, that live, you know, the nuns sow it abroad, sow it here and everywhere, it's the same as Tusla, Tusla again, Tusla, Roger Gugoma, the, the Department of Children, you know, and, you know, they want to hide these files, the government, the ministers and everybody want to hide these files. Um, and so that's why the media will talk about it, the media will say about it. So it's going to be made harder if this gets passed. Again, I think it's a motion of someone at the doll and they're going to pass it through. Uh, he goes into greater detail, so I do recommend because, again, I'm not the best person to be remembering facts because I'm trying to remember everything at the top of my head. Um, so, yeah, it will be made a lot harder for them mothers to find their babies, maybe in Australia, you know, being sold off and everything like that. God, you know, like, it's, it was horrible. And that's the simple as I was talking about. Um, and you want know, to have the state try and hide files. Because so, obviously they're trying to hide something. Something else, something else happened um, that they want to hide. Um, and obviously it shouldn't be. And I tell Roger Goldman, um, you know, again, why would you do this? Like, why, why, does they, not, they have nothing better to be doing with their time than trying to hide, you know, files from mothers and people who want to find out what happened to their children. Um, and where the children, God forbid, and God help forgive me for saying this, but where they're buried in mass graves. Um, because of the nuns, the nuns just fire them into graves, and just mass, mass graves, upon mass, mass graves. Um, and God forgive me, like honest to God, I hate having to say it, but my God, the matter of, the matter of unmasked graves, with children upon babies, upon babies, upon babies, upon babies, dumped into the graves, not Christian, not even crosses or anything, just dumped in, just dumped in, no, not a care for them, not a care, not a care for them being buried in the proper grave, not a care. Just goes to show you, some people that have come, you know, that's supposed to be doing God's work on this planet, end up doing the devil's work. Um, it should be said for the politicians too, to be honest, because again, if this passes, I will say straight, that it's a horrid sin that this country, that this country will allow the devil to control its politics. Um, because that's more or less what we this more or less what we have to say. Because again, this is this totally it's totally out of order. Um, if they do hide these files and if they will make it a lot harder for pe for people who are searching for the children, who people who are searching for justice.
to get access to files and state archives and everything to try and find out what happened to the child. Where did the child go? You know, again, it's going to be a lot more difficult and too slow. I'm sure it's not going to be forthcoming in giving out the information, I'm sure. But again, it's the same with every department of the government. Um, they're all just in it for the money. And they took it after that, they couldn't care less. Um, and it's just sad. Like, honest to God, your heart goes out to your heart goes out to these people who are still to this day looking for their, you know, who are looking for their children who are in the mother baby homes. And um, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking. Some of them, there was one case actually, I remember that somebody was, there was a child, um, sold, and this is the word, sold, um, to parents in America. It's, a, it, you know, it's, again, it's, it's, it's a very, very sad, a very dark history in the state's history, the mother and baby homes. And the Magdalene Laundries and everything like that. It's a very dark part of the state's history. But again, hiding it. Again, if the government has more to hide than they're letting on. But hiding it is still going to do no good. And I'm sure everybody will agree with it. Because at the end of the day, it might take 10 years. It might take 20 years. But the truth will always come out. No matter how long they try and hide. No matter how much they spend in trying to hide it. Um, the truth will come out. It's simple as that. There's no point in hiding it. Um, but yeah. God bless them poor babies. And please do check out his channel. Um, he probably will go into a lot more detail. I've probably left out a hundred things. Um, but please check it out. And thank you for watching. Um, and again, God bless them poor babies. And their poor mothers. Thank you.